Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8. I'm a wild bunty and it has been a hot ass minute since I have first of all been here, second of all played a video game, third of all um had fun. I don't know it's been a it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. Um I don't know if that's true in the current scheme, but from the time I'm recording this anyways. Um you know I like I like this. This looks cool. Um Yeah, we're going this. So anyways, last episode we finished up the Nitro Cups. And now we're starting down here on the Retro Cups. So I know at some point I recorded this, but I don't have shell cups, so I'm just backing it up a little bit and coming here to record this shell cup because it's fun. I know I used Toad, so I might as well use Toad again because he's my man. He's my homie. Um, also, my audio is not really working that well, so like, whatever. I can still kind of hear, but like, it's doing that thing where like, you know how when Oh god, it's really, it's really hard to explain, but like, when your earbuds are only half plugged in, so you can hear like, some of the things, um, but not everything. Like, I know exactly what's happening. Oh, I'm also really close to my TV now. I'm trying like a new setup because things and stuff. Um, but I'm just really close to my computer. So, or my TV. And I guess my computer as well, but I'm almost further away from my computer right now. But that's neither here nor there. What really matters, what really matters, is my inability to both drive and speak English and break drift. Um, yeah, so I haven't played this video game, or really any video game besides like Plants vs. Zombies and like Geometry Dash in like four months because I have been out of the country I did Ooh. okay we're getting we're getting break drifting back we're remembering how this how that whole thing goes um, yeah so I did a semester oh god okay I'm still pretty far ahead we're chilling for now for now so I did a semester in Spain, España, si hablo español. Um, I did a semester in Spain and I just got back like a couple days ago. But I mean, it's kind of hard to take like a whole gaming system with you to Spain. So I planned on uploading some stuff while I was there. I had like a couple things pre saved, but I never actually got around. It was like crazy. Like, you can't. It's like. At that point, yes, I love like recording and uploading and posting videos and just like having a having a good time, just have a lot of laughs. But like at that point in my life, it just like wasn't a priority, you know? Like like um yeah, I love doing it, but I also was living in a foreign country by myself for the first time ever. Um so like some things took precedent. Like there were more important things going on in my life than than playing uh, than playing a video game for 20 people to watch online. Um, there's nothing against the 20 people that watch. I appreciate you all, um, but sometimes they're just opportunities that are like um, they're just bigger opportunities, and it's not like. Like, this is always something I can come back to, and like, oops, I'm just getting fucking wrecked this race, wow. Wow. Like, there's always, like, this is, like, YouTube's not going anywhere, my Mario Kart 8 and Wii U are not going anywhere, like, I can always come back to this, like, this can happen at any time, but going abroad, like, that was really only gonna happen, like, one time in my life. And so, I like had to go and enjoy it 
and live it up to the best of my abilities. And I really think I did. Um, I don't know. I'll, as like it's relevant, I'll probably have like some good stories. But um, I don't know. Nothing really that comes to mind right at this moment, except the fact that Koop Troop is a bitch and can choke. Can choke. Um, but yeah, that's that has like nothing really to do with Spain. And I'm in fucking second because Waluigi's a little bitch and more importantly Koopa Troopa's a little bitch. So, we're gonna be changing that. We're gonna be changing that. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna come back in full force. Get that W on my probably one of my least favorite tracks in the game. Cheap Cheap Beach. But, you know, that's okay. So, okay. So I do have some things to talk about. So, in Spain, I was, I'm going to really try hard to, like, suppress my Spanish pronunciation of all this stuff because, um, yeah, I took classes. I studied over there, too. It wasn't just, like, a, I went to live. Like, I went to school. Um, and one of the classes that I took was Spanish pronunciation not just of the language, but of specifically um, the Spanish accent. So like, um, oh fuck off with that. So like, um, yes we had to, um, for anyone who knows anything about Spanish and Spanish pronunciation, like there's just so many different accents. Like you don't really think about it, especially living in the US, like you really only hear Mexican Spanish because like, obviously, we have such close contact with Mexico, just, like, being neighbors, and just, like, politically, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, first of all, relationships with Mexico, and just talk about Mexico, like, in the news and everything, um, for better or worse, um, country, you bitch, that's karma, that's karma, that's karma. And you know it, Koopa Troopa. Um, anyways. But yeah, so you just sort of really hear a lot about Mexican accents. And you don't really think about, like, oh, there are different accents in Spanish. Just like there are in English. Like, like I'm from the Northwest. Um, and I'm not going to sound like someone who's from Texas. Or from the Northeast. Like, it just don't work like that. And I'm especially not going to sound like someone from the UK or from Australia or South Africa or like New Zealand. Like, no, we sound different. Um, and that's just like how it is. And it's the same way in, in Spanish too. Like Spain has a couple different accents going on. Mexico's got its own accent. Mexico's probably got a couple different accents even within Mexico. It's a big place. Mexico's a big place. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of going off the like standard... Castilian, that's what they call um, Spanish in Spain because there's so many different languages just like running around that country. Um, contrary to popular belief, they don't all speak Spanish there. Like they all, like just about all speak Spanish, but it's not like everyone's first choice. Oh, I'm a fucking flop. Heh. <laughs> you know, we'll make this exciting. Yeah, so they call it Castilian because that's sort of like, it just sort of is. That's just... Because. I don't really have, like, a better reason. They call it Castilian because. Um, so that's the accent that I kind of learned. It's the typical Spanish accent with the th as you lisp sometimes. Um, and it's just, like, it's just fun. Um, oh, look at that. Chillin'. Um, so yeah, so I was in... Valencia, also known as, also known as Valencia, Valencia, um, which is, also, I'm sorry if you can hear my dish, or clothes, my laundry machine, this whole entire time, I have, I'm still unpacking, still washing laundry, you know, let's, let's have some fun up here, let's just, like, that was not worth it, that was fully not worth it. But you know, that's okay. I love sometimes when you just get like a little breakaway. It just makes it so simple. 
But yeah, so I was studying Valencia, Valencia. It's in the, you know, in this case, it's actually good. It's on the um, east coast, on the Mediterranean, sort of kind of in the south, like southwest. Pretty nice place. So I just like had a lot of fun there. It was just like pretty cool. Um, and look at that. Got that W. Didn't even think about that one. It was so easy. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess you guys will have like a couple episodes of break from my like Spain talk while I talk about all this other stuff. But who even knows? Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but believe me, you will be getting plenty of Spain stories throughout my time because I traveled around Europe. I did all the like cliche like semester in Europe things that like everyone thinks about. Um, and it was just really fun. So yeah, and I'm glad I get to come back to this. Like this is also really fun. Um, it's nice to come back with a W. That's always great. Um, yeah. So look at our highlight. I didn't think I actually raced that well in this one, but you know, I guess it's exciting. A lot of things happened. I had that like come from behind victory. So I'll take the praise, I'll take the props from this one. And more importantly, I'll take that gold trophy. Thank you very much. And I'll take my one star. Not a not a personal best, but one star is better than no stars. And a gold trophy is better than no trophy. Gold trophy is actually better than like just about anything. But anyways, 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 I digress, I digress. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching this triumphant comeback for me episode. I don't know if this is like the fourth in regular posts again, but this is my comeback. So, thank you all for watching my comeback. Um, like always, I've been a wild Monty. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos every week, um, and I will see you next week for the banana cup. I think that's what it is. Anyways, goodbye.